Hey everybody, Greg here, and this is a short video showing you how you can optimize your YouTube viewing experience, okay? Now, this assumes you have a Google account and that you use that particular account regularly with uh, your viewing of YouTube. You could actually have a couple of different accounts. Um, if you were really going to do a lot of YouTube viewing, you could have one account that you optimize for viewing technology content and another account you log in and you watch YouTube and you optimize that for cooking or exercise or politics or whatever topic, right, um, with this method that I'm about to show you. And it's not that difficult to get extra free Google accounts and you're not using them for email. You're just using these for, you know, logging in and, and optimizing, as I say, for viewing. So anyway, um, and the reason for that is that YouTube learns about your viewing habits, it learns what your interests are, and it kind of narrows in on, you know, a few. Um, and so it's not that great. You know, you're going you're gonna to miss some of that below the iceberg tip, right, of other interesting content in a particular area like technology or whatever if YouTube's trying to show you a little bit of technology, a little bit of health, a little bit of cooking or whatever. Um, you're not going to get the depth. So this would be if you had separate logins, you'd get a lot more depth because you're, as far as YouTube knows, you're interested only in this particular topic, okay? So anyway, um, right, I've not done that. I'm just, I mostly am watching on YouTube, uh, PBS, uh, you know, Vice Media or Canadian Broadcasting, uh, something like that news channels, right? So anyway, that's a long intro to explain what I'm about to show you here. So <clears throat> anyway, what you're seeing at the top are the recommended videos that YouTube has for me based on past viewing, based on channels I might be interested in. Um, so here's something, I'm just going to go right to this one. Uh, Tucker Carlson with, uh, you know, the Google Memo guy, James. So what I'm looking for here is what channel is the content coming from? I don't want my recommended feed, recommended suggestions to be filled up with a bunch of non-mainstream media sources. So the Liberty Hound, I don't know what that is, but it's it's not something I'm going to be interested in, you know, the content from them, usually because there's extra ads in there or these are like these clickbait, you know, you, you think it's going to be about this one story and then it turns out it's just they're advertising something. So I'm just going to say not interested. Then this is the important part. Um, and, and I'm not sure if you saw, I clicked on the, the three little dots that were below that video. So I'm going to say, tell us why. Now, I did watch an art, a, a video about James Damore and the Google issue. Um, and that was by the Rubin Report. And the Rubin Report, I think, is a good, balanced, substantial source of news. So, um, you know, I, I am interested in recommendations based on that channel and let's say that topic, but I'm not interested in the channel, The Liberty Hound. So I'm going to check that and uh, I'm going to go ahead and submit it. So you'll notice these others, PBS NewsHour, CBS This Morning, um, you know, th those I'm happy to be getting content from. Sometimes I'll get content from Vice where I'm interested in the channel, but I'm just not interested in like gaming, for example. I'll click on this. Um, I'll say not interested and tell us why. Um, so here, I, I don't have that choice of, you know, maybe some other content that was related that I'm going to tell it I don't like. So I'm just going to say maybe I don't like this particular video and maybe it'll learn that I don't like videos about gaming. Um, now I've watched this video here in the lower left, the spotting e-commerce trends. That was actually a pretty good video. Uh, the channel looked to be... Uh, here I'm just going to say not interested and under tell us why I'm just not interested in that channel and I'll say submit. Um, here's CBS this morning. I'll leave that. Now below, I'm, I'm interested in a variety of content. You'll see the White House um, shows up here. I can scroll down. There's Fox News. There's also Vice News. There's Jimmy Kimmel Live, PBS NewsHour, TED Talks. So I, I like to see, um, you know, content from the full spectrum of 
media sources. You know, uh, I don't want to get too nestled into just watching Rachel Maddow all day long, or you know, only watching Fox News. I'd like to hear a little about both sides, because um, sometimes you do get either blind spots from one media source, um, or you get things that are intentionally just not being talked about. Uh, I, I noticed that in 2016, and not to go back to a year that everybody wants to forget, but. Uh, you know, in 2016, it was like I was kind of interested in hearing from uh, everybody on the full spectrum of the political, you know, uh, the full spectrum of politics there. And so, you know, Bernie Sanders, um, Jill Stein of the Green Party, it became more and more difficult to find content from those people on CNN or ABC, NBC, CBS. You know, I was trying to find, like, where are they being interviewed? They're, they're running for president, you know. Um, but they'd be on Fox News, you know, so Fox News liked them because they were doing a little bit of trash talking of Hillary. And so they became an ally at that moment um, in history. And that was interesting, you know, to see like uh, Democratic Socialists and Green Party members being on Fox News. But um, anyway, so that's an example where it was either a blind spot or intentionally certain media outlets said, hey, let's not have anybody on who might speak negatively of Hillary. Um, so, yeah, I can understand that. You you maybe have a favorite candidate and you don't want them uh, being hindered. So, But anyway, bottom line is I want to go to a variety of news sources because I'm going to get the, the balance of a particular story and I'm going to get a variety of stories that I wouldn't get just from one source. Um, and particularly, just as an example of that, is the uh, what you'll see down in the lower left corner here, which is called The National. That's a Canadian broadcasting company, CBC. And... There you're going to get all kinds of news from around the world and news about the United States that you're not getting in the United States, like really good news coverage. Not showing up in the list, but it's it's on there further down is Al Jazeera. Again, you know, great coverage of things happening in the United States that you're unfortunately not going to get on ABC, CB, uh, CBS, NBC, whatever. Like our major news outlets are not covering these stories. So it's a good idea to get BBC, uh, other sources in there. Um, but anyway back to more of the focus of what this video is about, and that is you can go through, you can subscribe to these top-level news sources, and you can go through and curate and prune the list of what's recommended so that over time you will get um, better and better content. Now here's another thing I do, and that is um, you'll notice the stories here are from 13 hours ago, two days ago, uh, often I will get stories, you know, videos popping up here from just 15 minutes ago or an hour ago. So I've been favoring in my choice of what I watch, um, I've been favoring current news, like something that's either happened today or yesterday, uh, so that I can repost that and so that the content I'm looking at and the content that I'm sharing is relevant, current, of interest to people. Um, so basically that's what this particular you know, uh, video selection process has been for me is just news sources, current stuff, and a broad selection. But, you know, like I say, I could uh, create another feed that's uh, of a different topic of interest, music, or whatever, and you would get the same kind of results. Current, popular, high content, high, you know, high quality of content videos right there. And so, yeah, I encourage you to give it a try. You know, it just takes a few extra seconds to go through and kind of pick and choose which video sources you like, what video topics you like, and start working with that, and you'll see it gets better and better. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Let me know if you have any suggestions, comments, questions. I always appreciate those. Take care.